Hey there, so this is going to be part two of making the short runner intake manifold for the Mustang Cobra. So part two, and since part one, I did get a little bit more done to this uh, than um, I have shown in this video. So let me go over things I've done. I'm still not done yet, but we're closer than we than we were before. So it still ain't pretty, um, but it's a lot prettier than it was. So I've been spending a lot of time with Dremel and grinding stones and files and not not that that no <laughs> getting all of this you know as cleaned up as possible trying to smooth out the entrances here in each of the runners and trying to take out all the rough edges and the burrs and whatnot from cutting and I still need to go over just a little bit more most of it's pretty solid I think I think I'm mostly happy with what I got here I don't think any of this extra stuff's gonna hurt the way the air is flowing in too much, at least I hope not. Um, I'm not a professional and I don't have access to professional tools and equipment, so this is the best I can do at the moment myself. So with that, I also, while I have this off the car, is I'm gonna clean up the ports here. I mean, I don't think I'm gonna widen them per se, but see how there's some just jagged edges on some of these uh, ports here from the cast, the original casting, and actually, these are smaller than um, the spacers, or not the spacers, the IMR IMRC plates. And of course, you know, they're not perfectly matched. So if I can just kind of straighten some of these out while I have it off the car, might as well, right? So of course that adds to the few things left to do aside from uh, finishing polishing up all these ends of these runners. But so far, it's pretty good. So. I'm just going to uh, show a little bit here of getting some of these ports and runners finished up and then the next step is getting the old intake off and getting this one on. So I got one side done because I want to do it before and after. So we'll look at things before. You can see there's just a lot of rough edges on these on this casting here. I mean it's you know they, they clean up the can. There's some burrs on the inside. You know it's it's yeah <laughs> it works right. <laughs> and then here's after. So you know I just cleaned up some of the edges here. I mean it look, it ain't like a full port or anything, but. And it's not going to set the world on fire, but you know what? While it's already off, might as well. So I still have the other side to do, and then once that's done, probably the more pain in the butt part of all of this is trying to get it cleaned out. I don't know the best method for that. Because there is a lot of oil, a lot of metal shavings. <laughs> so, obviously that's got to come out. Yeah, so I think that's gonna be the best method uh, cleaning that out. I'm not sure how well it's gonna work, but I mean, it's high strength citrus to grease, so it's gonna at least help get some of the oil residue out of it. Uh, so just let that sit and soak for a minute or two, and I guess we're gonna have to come back to that, huh? <laughs>
Oh, that looks a little nasty now, don't it? Ooh. Yeah, I thought I had already replaced uh, these gaskets, but it doesn't look like I did. There's some oily residue sitting on there. Gonna have to get that fixed. I think I actually might paint the uh, the valley here while this is all off, just to help help with uh, protecting the metal here, the block. But eh, everything looks decent, so not uh, too much to worry about. Ah, sweet! How long has that been sitting there for? <laughs> This needs a lot of love, a lot of love. So it's been a few days since uh, I put this manifold in this uh, nice bath of high strength degreaser. And uh, you know what? It definitely looks a hell of a lot better. I mean, look at that. That don't look half bad. So I think it's time to pull it out let it dry and we can start getting it prepped for a little bit of paint and of course I need to fill in the tub part with some resin so I guess now is a good time to pull it out and you know it's like of course you just never win I took the coolant crossover pipe off here because I mean this thing needs help this this is just nasty I want to do a delete or do the uh, you know where they're made out of billet pieces but they're like $200 I don't have that right now so but I do want to get this looking nicer and just get it right this is just a poor pitiful excuse but <laughs> taking it all apart freaking one of the temp sensors now tell me why tell me why there's two temp sensors right okay there's one in each side of this pipe one is apparently goes to the to the computer for fuel management purposes and then the other one goes to the gauge why couldn't i mean i'm sure there's a good reason but why couldn't ford just use one sensor and split it between the gauge and the ecu like usually you know it will go to the ecu then the ecu will put out the information to the gauge cluster with what it reads but nope ford decided to have two coolant sensors <laughs> i'm since i got the intake out of that the greaser bath, I'm just gonna dump these in, let them sit and clean them up and we're gonna get a coat of paint, so. But that's pretty much it there. So once this dries out and this will be ready to rock. And then of course in the next video uh, is probably when the fuel rail is gonna get prepped. And of course this has to get filled in the bottom there with some type of something. See, there's there's this resin stuff already all in this thing. So, uh, yeah, it's gonna be, I have to find something like that just to fill in that bottom part, take up some of the uh, some of the space there. So, but it looks a lot nicer than it did. I don't think it's ever looked this nice, quite honestly. So. <laughs> the engine's uh, looking kind of kind of poor there, but. And of course, then we gotta get the valley painted here and just a little bit of stuff buttoned up. But otherwise, that's pretty much it, so. And all of that will be in the next video. And with that said, that will be it for this video. So if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with everyone you know, and if you wanna see more content like this, then go ahead, subscribe to the channel, and keep a lookout for the next video.